Dr. Sella here. We're on day 44 of the 366 days of sports psychology. And today we're going to talk about keeping your program down. What keeps your program down and why it can't get to the next level? Well, the two biggest issues are negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs by your players and your coaches and you. Because it all starts with you. Negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs are two of the biggest reasons football programs fail to get to the next level. It's because you think the negative and then you say the negative to your people. And then eventually because you're the leader, it becomes infectious. So what ends up happening is people then believe that they can't get any better. Yes, it is a frustrating profession. There is no doubt about it. And it is hard to win. There is no doubt about it. But you certainly can control the things that you say. The self-limiting the self-limiting beliefs that you say to your assistant coaches, to your players, to people in general. Because when you say something to one assistant coach, it's a chain effect. It goes to another assistant coach and then another stakeholder and then perhaps a player. And then before you know it, your players don't believe that they can get past where they're at and they give up. They stop putting in urgency. They stop putting in accuracy. They become less mindful and then it becomes inconsistent. And then before you know it, you're resigning and you're saying, I need to spend more time with my family like every other coach does that resigns a position. They cop out. So if to keep your program down, it's, it's negative thoughts and self-limiting beliefs. So obviously you want to do the opposite of this. Hey, listen, it's hard to control what we think. But we definitely can control what we say because our tongue is a rudder. We control what we say. And there's a reason why Pete Carroll, after he got fired from the New England Patriots after a 99 season, reprogrammed himself to become somebody who spoke positively all the time he reprogrammed himself so he could avoid this and that's why he's been able to win a national championship at USC and win a Super Bowl with the Seahawks and create programs that win every year that's the reason so I encourage you today that if you are stating self-limiting concepts and if you're bringing negative thoughts out to the people that are here to help you win, to stop doing that today and do the opposite. Even if you feel it's somewhat inauthentic, you're better off reprogramming yourself to say things about how great your situation can be. That's that. Coaches, if you're looking to create the elite performance environment in your football program, give me a call. 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265 with the Sports Psychology for Football Academy. You're going to learn how to create the elite performance environment, and you're going to learn how to be the dominant figure in the lives of your players, coaches, and stakeholders. There's a 20-cent video series that covers the 20 biggest issues occurring right now in the high school football program based on a quantitative study of athletic directors. We're going to beat that to the punch, and we're going to become experts in all areas of the high school football program. You're going to be the problem solver. And you're going to beat problems to the punch. And you've got me on call 24 hours a day if you're my client to make sure that if you have anything that goes on in your program, I'm here right by your side and you're going to have answers. I'll see you tomorrow for day 45. We'll talk then.